I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've already heard of ChatGPT. It's the new hot chat AI that does a really good job at forming human-like answers. So I sit down, I open up ChatGPT, I look at right in its AIs, and I ask it, what are some good Python projects for the Raspberry Pi? So I'm gonna give you word for word the exact answers that ChatGPT gave me and then elaborate a little bit. So here's the first project, creating a simple game. Python is a popular programming language for creating games, and the Raspberry Pi is a great platform for running and testing your games. You can use Python to create a simple game such as a puzzle or arcade game, and then run it on your Raspberry Pi. So that's the exact first answer that ChatGPT gave me. Here's a website I'll link in the description that has a couple of game ideas that you can probably try out. All of them should be pretty standard, um, easy to run on the Raspberry Pi. It's nothing that's gonna be like 3D or really high CPU usage or, or GPU usage. So here's the second project building a home automation system. The Raspberry Pi can be used as the brains of a home automation system, and Python can be used to control and automate various devices and appliances in your home. For example, you can use Python to create a program that turns on the lights or adjust the thermostat based on input from sensors or other devices. I'm gonna put a link in the description for this software as well. It's called Home Assistant. It's open source. They advertise that it runs on the Raspberry Pi on the website. What more can you ask for? The third answer it gave me was a little bit more niche and probably doesn't apply to a lot of people, but it still seems like a fun project if you wanna get into it, but I'll read you what it gave me. Creating a weather station. You can use the Raspberry Pi and Python to build a weather station that can measure temperature, humidity, and other environmental conditions. This could involve connecting sensors to the Raspberry Pi, collecting data with Python, and then displaying the data on a screen or website. I'll link this one as well, but it's an article that shows you how to build your own weather station. You'll use PHP, Python, on um, a little bit of SQL as well. This is a really cool project if you wanna get into it. Now this project isn't super useful to me. I still find it very cool, but if you're maybe into like meteorology in general, or you wanna use this as like a tool, if you have like a garden of some kind where you need to like constantly check humidity levels outside, that kind of thing, this project would be super cool. But if you did want to learn more about like web development and uh, like backend development and frontend development, I think this would be a really cool project to get your feet wet. So the next project is actually a good segue from the last one. It's building a website. So here's exactly what the AI said. Building a website. The Raspberry Pi can be used as a web server and Python can be used to create the website that is served by the server. This could involve learning how to use Python web frameworks such as Flask and Django to create dynamic and interactive websites that can be accessed from any device. Okay, so building a website, nothing too crazy. You've probably heard that a million times, but I think it's pretty cool that it recommended that. But this one got me thinking a little bit. Maybe I should put a Raspberry Pi 4 on my network and see how many applications I can have running on it at once before it starts becoming an issue with uh, resource usage. So I wanna put like Pi Hole on it, but then I also wanna put some web server software on it and maybe run like an in-home intranet. I know it sounds a little ridiculous having your own personal little intranet website on your own home network that isn't really useful anywhere else in the world, but think about it, how many devices on your network have a web page that you can access? Let me know in the comments. I have about three or four I can name right off the top of my head. So my router, my Unify controller has a web page. So far I have a Unify switch and a Unify access point, but I do have the controller on my network that I like to control from the web page and my Pi hole that I use for ad block. So that's three devices that are on my network that I would say semi-regularly I access those web pages. And I'm about to add a fourth because I'm gonna build a Jellyfin server as well with Raspberry Pi 4 and I'm gonna link that video here. Peace.